to my daddy's YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello, it's Dan Webster here, the head professional at St Anne's Old Links Golf Club, and we are just welcoming in the beast from the east. The course is open. We have got golfers, if Sam wouldn't mind panning around, just teeing off on the first there. Absolutely. Absolutely balmy, the lot of them. As you can see, we have still got snow around, but the majority of the course it has actually thawed. Uh, temperature's not great, it's about a minus five, minus six on the wind chill. I've got my big jacket on, courtesy of Jay Lindeberg. These are phenomenal, by the way. Sammy's got his big parker on behind the camera as well. <laughs> the golf season is literally three or four weeks away. You would not be able to tell, however, however I, can't, I just can't, you know what, I just can't get over the fact that people going out there playing golf. This is ridiculous. Let's go back into the studio and do a bit of work. Wow, that is absolutely brutal out there. I can't believe it. Well, I certainly don't need this on now. We're back in the nice warm studio here at St Anne's Old Links. So, thankfully, despite this atrocious weather system that we've got around the beach from the east we're still open we're still able to coach custom fit we've got a nice warm studio warm radiator coffee on tap as well so just what you need to keep golf going despite these very very challenging times if you are out and about stay safe guys listen to the travel warnings listen to the road warnings stay off the roads it's going to be like this for another few days yet and um, get yourself at home do some work from home Maybe as if your schools are shut, sit and watch some YouTube videos of golfers and learn a bit about the golf swing. So that's what we're here for. So, okay, back here to St Anne's Old Links over the weekend. We had our Winter League final. Congratulations to Phil and John Kilgore. The ever steady pairing went on again to win. So good stuff, well done guys. Uh, one thing I'll say, we were over in Portugal with a group of nine members and what a fantastic time we had. Lots more to follow on that. Just speak to the guys, the, the, the guys that came on the trip and uh, they'll give you some feedback, I'm sure. All I'll say is it went brilliantly. Really excited about putting some more events on in the future. This was Gary and my first attempt at a coaching trip and it worked better than we could have expected. So once again, thank you for that. So as I mentioned, we are doing lots of custom fittings. I've just done a fitting this morning. Jackman came in for a full set of clubs, okay? Now, first thing I said to him, we had a little look at the swing and I explained that doing the movement that he's currently got, whatever I give him won't make much of a difference. His swing was very much out to and across the ball. The blade was very open. Uh, and I gave him some of the latest tech and it didn't make any difference to his ball flight, despite I knew it would if we get things right. So what we've suggested is instead of buying some clubs and then having coaching after that. We're doing a little bit of coaching before, making a couple of simple swing changes to make sure the club gets back into impact in the right way, to then get the benefit of some of this new technology, uh, and then we'll do the fitting in a few weeks' time. One thing we've got to make sure, there's no point getting custom fit if we're fitting to a fault. I like to fit to you know, a compromise. Not the ideal swing, but certainly a compromise. To make sure if you are getting custom fit, in the middle of swing changes, there's going to have to be some changes to equipment at some point in the very near future. One club the custom was looking at was the new Callaway Rogue Epta. I'm going to give this a little whack. What I will say, it is hot, it is powerful. This is a 7, 7 iron, okay? So nice strike. I hit my 7 iron normally around about 150, 160 mark. That's carried 17 something and run out to 187 yards. That's my first swing of the day, 187 yards with a seven out. These things are strong. What I would say, as well, this is Taylor May's P790. Just as strong, very powerful club. A little bit more feel with these, because it's a forged head. Again, nice hit. A little bit straighter that time, but we're looking somewhere, somewhere similar in carry distance. 170 carry, and there we go again, 185. That's a new Callaway Rogue X is strong and powerful, but not that good looking in my book. P790 from Telemade, forged and long and powerful. Come and have a go with them, see what you think yourselves. Okay, so we've got lots of new stock arriving currently. Despite the weather, our summer collections are starting to arrive. Right, we've got some fantastic collections from Ted Baker, Golf, Calvin Klein, Under Armour all being displayed currently both at Lytham Golf Academy and here at St Anne's Old Links. Make sure you pop in. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about 
spring summer clothing when it is minus 10 out there today but certainly you know wear it around the house nice Ted Baker top to wear in front of the fire watching us on YouTube certainly certainly a good idea but yeah we, we can't be far away the golf season the Masters I think is only 40 days away now uh, so yeah <laughs> we're trying to bring it on a little bit early Okay, so again, we've, we've thankfully just gone past our thousand subscriber mark on YouTube, which I'm really pleased about. Thank you for helping me get there. We did a draw, I don't know if you saw the video, but Douglas Miller, a gentleman from Scotland, has won a custom fitted Callaway Rogue driver. He's coming down to St Anne's on Links for a custom fitting session in a couple of weeks' time. So, quite excited to do that. We're going to give a bit of coverage on that as well. The next draw will be on 2,000 subscribers. So when I get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a custom fit set of irons. Make sure you're in it, or you've got to be a subscriber. Watch the videos, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and share them as well. That'll be really useful for me. We are in the process of more preparation, getting ready for the start of the season, making some changes at Lynn Golf Academy. We're building a big 250 square meter Asher Turf Green at around 60 yards away from the bays that you can hit at from every bay. Really excited to do this. To enhance the hitting experience, we're building it and modeling it on the 12th hole of Augusta. We are hoping, yeah, the golden bell. We are hoping to have it up and running ready for the start of the season. It's going to be a big accurate turf green raised up a metre that you can hit balls onto and the ball will stop on there. We're building it on one of the wettest parts so again the idea there is to make sure we, we don't lose this many balls because we've lost a few thousand but I do have a plan to do a few more. Possibly build a TPC Sawgrass 17th hole out there as well and a couple of other famous holes from around the, around the world. So this is a first. No driving ranges that I'm aware of have put replica greens out onto the outfield. This is something, that, again, I've come up with the idea and we're going to hopefully push forward with. Work's going to start on that in a few weeks' time. So thanks again for watching. That's all from me this week. By the way, stay safe, wrap up warm, get your base layers on. If you're getting out of the golf course, go and do a handful of holes. Don't stay out there for four or five hours. See you all soon. Please subscribe my daddy's YouTube channel. Wow. Daddy's YouTube channel. Is that how you do what? Yes. Hit like the button now. Hit the like button now. Yes.